Hi guys, welcome to Appliance Vault and today I will be showing you how to change the door seal on this LG washing machine. Before you start, make sure the machine is unplugged and safe to work on. First you will need to remove the top lid. It's held by the two screws at the back. Once the screws are undone, the lid is done. Remove the dispenser. Press on this clip to release the dispenser drawer and undo the two screws that hold the front face in. With a flathead screwdriver, open the drain pump compartment and re remove the door. Remove the screw that holds the bottom plastic panel. And with the screwdriver, pry the panel off. Sometimes you have to cut the sticker. Remove the three screws that hold the front cabinet cover. Using a hook pick, remove the spring clamp from the door seal, like so. I usually hook it into the loop of the spring and stretch it and remove it. Once that's removed, take the seal off the front of the cabinet push it inside the door frame, close the door. Undo the ties that hold the wiring in place and with a flathead screwdriver push on these two clips here to release the front control panel. Pull it out. Once the control panel is removed, you get access to the final two screws that hold the front cabinet in place. When the screws are removed, pull up on the cabinet cover, and it should come off. Now you can disconnect the door lock. Now you have full access to the door seal. This particular seal has a little hose connecting to the bottom of it. Just move these clamps down. Once the clamps are moved, you can disconnect the hose. Once the hose is disconnected, Grab your hook pick again, hook it into the spring and pull it off. Like so. And then you can remove your door seal. Once the seal is removed, Give this surface a quick wipe to make it nice and clean. If you have trouble putting the new seal back on, I usually get some dishwashing liquid or some liquid detergent and put it on the lip of the seal so it slides on easier. Now the new seal is ready to go on. There's usually an arrow to the top of the seal, you should align with a mark here to tell you that it's the top of the seal. And simply just push it onto the ring.
Make sure the seal is all on properly everywhere. Now you can put the spring clamp back on. Place a clamp onto the seal. Make sure it's all on properly. Now grab your hook pick. Put it into the loop of the spring, stretch it. Don't forget to reconnect this hose. Make sure it's nice and clean before you reconnect it. Push the hose back in. Don't forget about the clamps. Put both the clamps back into its original place. And now the front cover is ready to go back on. Reconnect the door lock. Refit the two screws at the top. and refit the three screws at the bottom. Refit the bottom kick panel. Do need a slight tap to click back in. Refit the kick panel screw. Secure the emergency drain hose and put the kick panel door back in place. Now the control panel is ready to be refitted. Put the bottom of the control panel in first. And it should clip right in. Secure the wiring with the straps. Refit the two screws that hold the control panel in the dispensing place. Insert a dispenser drawer. Refit the lid. Don't forget about the two lead screws. Now just refit the door seal to the lip of the front cover. Refit the spring clamp, again use a hook pick into the loop of the spring. First what I do is the spring in place and then I put as much as I can of the clamp onto the seal. This leaves just this little bit here. And what I do, spread, stretch the spring and the clamp goes back on. That's all on. 
and you're done. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. This will be highly appreciated and it will help my channel grow. Thank you. Until next time.